Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metal. What a night we've got for your Friday Stand Firm. We have got some titles on the line, well title on the line, a couple of champions on the line, or in matches and not on the line. We're live in Colorado Springs, Colorado. J Jimmy Ventura, main event tonight. Out of nowhere, it seems. Well, maybe not. Night Demon getting to challenge JBG for the World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, before that, we've got um, the rest of Six Feet Down. I'm the Gengar and Gedenik. Gedenik back on his feet. Going to face off one more time with uh, Frost Lord Army. Don't know how he's still on his feet. And Tony plays poorly. It looks like this feud ain't going anywhere. Six Feet Down under versus Mighty AF. Starting you off for the night. How you doing tonight, Jimmy? Oh, I'm absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Um, a wonderful day I've had. Thank you. And how are you? Pretty good. I'm looking forward to an action-packed night of JFW wrestling action. Fuck. <laughs> I lost my words there. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, any night that starts off with Frost Lord Army and Tony plays poorly in tag action, you know you're in for a good one. And let's get to ringside. Match number one is underway. No, oh, baby. Here they are. Might Absolutely. Well, well, here's Frost Lord. Frost Lord apparently coming out to his own music tonight. Wait. Handicap match. That's only Frosty, isn't it? It's only Frosty, and, and the the ring announcer just called for a handicap match. Here he comes out alone. He's not not looking his normal badass self here. I think there's something on his mind. Frostler coming out alone. No sign of Tony plays poorly. We'll have to have a look backstage for him. We'll, we'll, we'll cut back to you guys if, uh, if we find anything. Right now, it's just Frostlord Army in the ring. Where's Tony plays poorly? Oh boy. Unless he's just building suspense, you know, it's been after that kind of drubbing they took in Hell in a Cell. Maybe Tony plays poorly, wanting to make a big entrance. Nope. That is six feet down under his music. Oh my goodness. The man who got thrown, power bombed off the top of Hell in a Cell through the announce table and then took a 30 foot dropping elbow to the chest is gonna be just less than a week later facing off in a two on one handicap match. Oh, this ain't good. Absolutely not. What has happened to Tony plays poorly? I'm seeing nothing from back the backstage area I, I'm getting reports that no one's even seen him enter the arena tonight. He might not even be here. How would he no-show his fellow Mighty AF tag team partner? That's, that doesn't sound like him at all, does it? What the hell? That sounds... Something's up here. And uh, hopefully we will hear more about the status of Tony plays poorly in this one. But uh, what we really got to worry about right now is the health and well-being of Frost Lord Army going two-on-one -on -one after such a hellacious match just a few days ago at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, that was unbelievable, wasn't it? The most outrageous <laughs> moment. Absolutely, <laughs> and he here we go. Two-on-one -on -one action. All right, it's not Tornado Tag. Maybe Frostlord can capitalize on that, but right off the bat, <laughs> big scoop power slam by Gengar. Gengar, one of the few guys in the JFW to really give Frostlord Army a size and power run for his money here. Yeah. Tony plays poorly, abandoning Frostlord Army or something else up. We really don't know at this stage. We'll have to find out more. And uh, Gengar working over Frostlord right now. Frostlord putting up a fight. He's definitely got his moves in. He's uh, really, really somehow surviving <laughs> this this really rough stretch. Probably the roughest stretch in his professional wrestling career. A former champion deserves better than being abandoned like this to a two-on-one handicap match against such a well-established and powerful uh, faction. 
like six feet down under. Absolutely, yeah, the most terrifying faction in the in the JFW at this moment in time, isn't it? It, it, it more it more sounds like the move that got Denny pregnant herself, Bezel. <laughs> Tony Patoch going at one cent sold at five cent. Hey, you know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and look at this. Oh man, big senton, running senton. Ooh, rope uh, rope caught his foot there. Didn't seem to affect the day, Nick, as he now goes to that neck wrench. <laughs> it could be both. <laughs> The famous uh, William Shatner character from Boston Legal, Denny Crane. A fantastic show that everyone seems to forget has existed. By the creators of Ally McBeal, I believe. It's a good show. Mm. It's, uh, James Spader and uh, and uh, and uh, the guy whose name I just said and forgot. Uh-oh. Man. Sure, it's her memory. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder William what Shatner. That. <laughs> William Shatner, that's the one. Oh wow, Frosty's getting some offense in here. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, really, uh, really taking it to, Ga to Gdanik and win, lose, or draw in this match. You know, Frostlord is going to love getting a little bit of uh, vengeance on Gdanik for what happened at Hell in a Cell between those two. Yeah. Hello, hold the keep. <laughs> oh, HTK. But here comes Gdanik, and again, uh, just the advantage of this handicap match. Frostlord has no outlet at all, and here's Gdanik struggling a little bit against Frostlord. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, Setting God. him up for a muscle buster oh, God. and a gigantic coup de gras coming. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Frosty, look out. That is a lot of weight collapsing your chest, and that might do it for Frostlord. Oh, oh he kicked out. Frostlord kicks out at two. Oh boy. <laughs> He's throwing <laughs> him up. And that's him, bro. Nah, Frosty, you're still, you're like a 93 in this. Yeah, yeah, pretty high. Oh, it just doesn't matter, it just doesn't matter in a handicap match, generally <laughs> speaking. I think we've only had two handicaps ever won, and those are by Tony and Skur. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're both pretty OP. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that's Skur. Cocky off stream, I think. All right, off TV. Oh, cocky! Oh, cocky! Oh, the triple power bombs. <laughs> yeah, easy if you're Tony still. <laughs> yeah, Tony, we've set to a seventy, and he still wins matches. <laughs> like it, it's completely meaningless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, Frostlord Army is in some serious trouble, and look at this—a pop of power bomb oh, by Gengar. Stole that one from Skirmetto, who he's never faced. <laughs> oh, a one count kick out! Wow. Look at the defiance from Frost Lord Army, giving it his all against six feet down under here. <laughs> no, Lean Gary, it's not. It's not like that. It, it, it's it's not like that at all. I'll still do like pay per views and stuff when I have time. I just I don't want to commit to two shows a week and then be bailing on Jim every other show. Is is more what it comes down to. And also, I feel like we've kind of done everything that I could ever want to do with the JFW. <laughs> right. Oh, Hello, Night Demon. Oh. Yeah, Frosty. Big power bomb. Oh, God, he's trying to penetrate him. <laughs> yeah, his ref was a little distracted there. <laughs> Might have bought him an extra uh, slap of the hand on the mat, and Frostler kicks out again. But now that gigantic finishing power bomb here. Oh, oh boy! Oh. Oh, there it is. Be I it. think that might do it for Frostlord Army. <laughs> oh, he kicks out again. What can keep Frostlord Army down? Well, let's see if gdanik has got an answer here. Maybe that Koala Clutch might be enough to put him to sleep here. But Frostlord Army really showcasing some power. Oh, man. He could win with this. <laughs> oh, my God. The Bear Hug. He's won matches with that before. But, no, Gdanik able to get the fist in and break the hold. Oh, the quick, <laughs> dirty shot there by Gengar. 
And that's that handicap advantage once again. What a showing. But there's the Uranagi. Huge move oh, by Gede Nick. Yeah. And the pin. No! And another two count kick. Out. I think the only way Gede Nick's putting him down is if he can put him to sleep with the Koala Clutch, which he might be thinking about going to right now. Yep, there. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> that's the, the tea bag elbow driver. <laughs> Oh, now we now already he's he's looking for something. Yeah, here we go. Koala clutch incoming, I think. Yep. There it is. He's got it locked in. Is that gonna put Frosty out? Hard to see a way for Frosty out of this one, but look at the power! <laughs> look at the power! Unstoppable force. Oh boy. And Frost Lord Army is not giving in on this one. Here comes the pedigree! Can he get the pin? I don't see how he can. Will Gengar come in really and break slow. this up? Yeah. No, oh, he's not that. No, not, not today, he's not. Fastest he's ever moved, but good night! <laughs> oh my god! Cross Lord Army standing tall over two thirds of six feet down under. Unbelievable. What a performance. Absolutely. Frost Lord Army, again, a former extra arms belt champion, dominating right now in what oh. should be. Oh, he's on the wrong guy, though. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit of brain worms there carrying over from that huge fall he took on Sunday. And Gdanik <laughs> taking advantage of it. That might have cost him his advantage here. But here he comes, punching back out. He's got to go to that bear hug again. I think that's his best shot at winning this match. We can't lift him. Oh. Oh, no, his back given out there at the very end. And again, the sign of all these things that have been adding up again. Side rush and legs, we've taken down by Gdanik. And now here comes another pin. Does he have the energy to continue? He, he sure does. One absolute bad ass. Unbelievable showing here. Gdanik getting frustrated, I think. Or maybe forgetting where he is. <laughs> Maybe he's just button mashing. Now, let let it not be let it not be said that Gdanik didn't also take a thirty foot fall onto hard concrete and yeah. Frostlord's body just a few days ago. Oh god! I just, <laughs> just ran through him. Frostlord Army as heroic a performance we've ever seen in the JFW. Can he get? the win in this two-on-one handicap match. Oh, boy, you wouldn't bet against it at this point, would you? I, I it would be hard to. Look at this. <laughs> Hangs him up, drops him right on that turnbuckle. Oh, oh no, but uh, Gdanik with a quick punch there to break up the suplex attempt and then sends him over towards Gengar. If Gengar comes in, this could uh, end poorly for, for Frosty. Yep. Yeah, here we go. Huge <laughs> boot right to the face. Oh, my God. He spiked his head off the back of the mat there. But another two-count kick out. <laughs> just and Frostlord just, just, just tosses him. him off there. Frostlord just unloading on him. But, no, again, <laughs> sent into that corner. Oh, the halupa kick. That might have knocked him out. The big oh, boot in the corner there might have knocked him. No, Frostlord <laughs> fighting back once again, trading kicks with Gengar. Oh, oh no! Oh, he just got his head damn near kicked off. <laughs> and that might have put him. No! <laughs> Not to be denied. Tony plays poorly, and Frostlord surely would have won this match easily. Mm -hmm. uh, with with Frosty's performance tonight, but Tony plays poorly. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> and another two count kick out. Frostler defiantly Barrett can't even stand now, but still not letting them get the satisfaction of the win. Oh, <laughs> sends him up for a huge dead drop there. <laughs> oh my God. Man, when I saw this was going to be a handicap match to start our night, I, was, I thought we were in for a rough show. But boy almighty, this could have been a main event the way Frostlord's wrestling right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, here oh, it is. But here it comes. Oh, no. oh Crucifix powerbomb. Not even, just a fucking helicopters him off. <laughs> but Gengar, even Gengar getting winded, pounding on Frosty right now, who is bleeding from the head. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Going to try and rip that mask off of him. Oh, man. Bleeding profusely now, isn't he, Frosty? 
<laughs> just trying to wear them down with his uh, resilience. Absolutely. Oh, no, he catches the punch. Frostlord in some trouble right now. Sent into the corner once again. It's Ganena coming in to close this out. No, no Frostlord. Oh, 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 my God. He took Ganena off the apron. He might have a shot here if he can get Gengar down. If he can oh, just get a big shoot. move off on Gengar, this is his chance. But Gengar pressing the advantage. And, uh, oh, gosh. He had him. He had him. Yeah, he had the, he had the opportunity, didn't he? There, that was incredible. He sure did. He just could not capitalize. <laughs> but another two count kick out. Kadenik now back up on the apron. Really smart move by Frostlord earlier, but he just could not close it out. Yeah, that was incredible. A little Jack Bolt. <laughs> Gengar has no idea what else to do to Frostlord. He's completely <laughs> worn himself out, pounding on this man. <laughs> oh God. And here comes Frostlord, shoulder charge, gets the big man oh, down. He's shit. looking for that pedigree again, but Gedanik watching. I gotta believe Gedanik's gonna break this up. Sometimes Gedanik has been known to forget to run He's in not the doing ring. It. Yes, might be that time. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> Gengar kicks out once again. I thought for sure Frosty had it if uh, Nick wasn't gonna break it up. Unbelievable. Look at this performance by Frostlord. It's outrageous, isn't it? Oh, there it is! There's oh. that bear that bear hug again. This could, could he be... get him? He might have him! He's got him! He's gotta have him! No! Gengar, a little too tall to really elevate and asphyxiate on that maneuver there. Able to punch his way out again. And Frostlord's gonna have to keep pounding on him here. Look at this! <laughs> then drop him on that turnbuckle one more time. Oh my god. A hard pounding from Frosty. Absolutely. Oh, he was going for another pedigree, but he got that sit down power bomb on him, and Frostler not looking good after that maneuver. And now oh that boy. running kick, I think. Deadly move to a guy with an injured head already. Oh god, he caught him. That's and that might have put Frost Lord out. It's got to have. <laughs> Kicks out again, Frostlord Army. One of the best handicap performances we've ever seen, if not the best. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Even if he can't get the win here, I mean, that's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Savage punch to the head. <laughs> And uh, in tags Gdanik and a uh, tag team maneuver coming here. Look out, Frosty. Oh, God. Oh, 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 my goodness. Elevated power slam there. Yeah, that's it. And that <laughs> did it. That finally put him away. Gdanik gets the win for, uh, for six feet down under, but that's about as pyrrhic a victory as you're going to see. Frost Lord Army, the story of the night thus far almost winning that hellacious match so soon after that ridiculous bump he took at Royal Rumble. But there they are, dominant as ever, six feet down under. Absolutely unbelievable, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, folks, <laughs> we have been waiting months, months for this one. Finally, it is time for... Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher right here in the ring. Friday, stand firm. Ain't nothing going to stop them now, folks. It's time for the grudge to end all grudges to end. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so good. Here we go, folks. Let's get to ringside. Oh, wait, that's Frostlord backstage. Walking uh, looks a little dismayed. Oh, there, and there's Tony. Finally, Tony plays poorly, showing up. Words being exchanged here between these two. Maybe some heated words. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tony's attacking Frostlord. Oh, my God. Tony attacking Frostlord backstage after abandoning him to a handicap match. What has gotten into Tony plays poorly's head as Frostlord battling back after the beating he just took? Oh, come on. Tony plays poorly. What the damn hell? Oh, man. 
Mighty AF is imploding right now. Tony plays poorly, attacking Frostlord after leaving him high and dry against a savage team. What an asshole. Tony plays poorly is going to have to answer for his actions tonight. And I don't know how, I don't know what kind of explanation he could give to get anyone on his side in this one. But here comes Frostler, the hero of the night thus far. Can he, can he, can he embarrass? Oh, God, sent through the door. Wouldn't this be something if he could get one up on this ambushing Tony plays poorly in this backstage brawl? And folks, I'm hearing it in the earpiece right now. I hate to disappoint, but we are going to have to bump Marcel versus Crusher four time as we got to continue watching this uh, this story play out. We'll make sure to rebook that. And Triple H there, not liking what he's seeing, maybe scouting Tony. <laughs> oh, dear. That's the first time oh. I've seen Triple H in a backstage match. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not always there, but it, sometimes he is. Yeah, cool. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there. <laughs> I like how Tony's doing better than, than two members of... <laughs> two members of Six Feet Down Under. <laughs> well, I mean, two members of Six Feet Down Under. Oh, no, oh, no Tony! Oh, no, Tony! No, don't do it, Tony! He's not... He's not through enough. Oh, God! He <laughs> right on the table look at his limp body there oh my god oh dear god and he's still going he's still fucking going another <laughs> ddt right to that What's concrete oh it's too much tony it's way too much Holy oh the plant shit. saved him the impact there. <laughs> <laughs> yes now Frostlord may be thinking about trying to get some uh, some vengeance on that. What has gotten gotten into the head of Tony plays poorly? Clearly upset with how things went at Royal Rumble. But why is he taking it out on Frostlord of all people? Yeah. Oh dear. Well, he uh, had to suffer one of those from Gengar earlier tonight, <laughs> giving it back to Tony there. How is Frostlord still fighting? <laughs> Oh, look at this by Frost Lord. It's almost like he wasn't in a match earlier tonight. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff by Frost Lord Army. <laughs> and he's just going to keep dropping Tony <laughs> on that pavement. Oh, boy. We do know Tony's weakness is the backstage brawl. Oh, and the side Russian leg, leg sweep there. Not everybody can Frost? be Skuro Metal, can they? <laughs> well, that's his only strength, though. <laughs> it's a little different when everything is your strength and your weakness is the backstage brawl versus the only thing you're good at is fighting backstage. Well, bit of rain wins. And, and Tony coming back here on Frostlord. Oh, my God, this fight might go all night, folks. <laughs> Yeah, no sign of just Joe or Clavius. But I don't know. Uh, I don't think either of them would want to get in between these two right now. That's for damn sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Good lord, we cannot let Frost Lord Army get join in with six feet down under. They'd be unstoppable. <laughs> yeah. If they aren't already. Oh! oh the big headbutt busting open Tony now. And this is not cherry picking here. Tony plays poorly, getting more than he bargained for. <laughs> oh. Wrenches the knee and throws him. But here comes Tony. Sends him through the door and out into the hall. The match is going to continue. Match. The brawl is going to continue. Oh, no. Slams him on that equipment chest. <laughs> Yeah, Joe never stops smiling, no matter what the situation. Yeah. <laughs> nope, here we go. Oh this boy, wow, well, this might be it for Frost Lord, yeah. Stunner coming, and that's surely going to put him out. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to do it. Tony plays poorly, knocking Frost Lord out. What a dishonorable showing. <laughs> By the, the leader of Mighty AF, former leader? I don't even know. We're going to have to follow up on this story next week. 
But right now, we're going to have to get back to in-ring action, folks. And uh, this is going to be something. Lean Gary and the Oriolensis, the country wizard, your two heads champions, lost on Monday night. Claw to Elp Meme and Humorous Chimp have another non-title tag match scheduled tonight against Donsk Donsk Revolution. It's going to be tag action next. The champs are back in action trying to uh, regain their winning ways. You know, again... Elp and uh, Chimp probably caught them off guard a little bit after that hellacious TLC match that they went through to get those titles and uh, maybe came into this one thinking it was a layup. And, uh, well, you know what? Lightning strikes at least once. Elp and Chimp <laughs> getting the win. But I don't think that's going to happen here again. The champs are coming out in full force against PTK and Zetok the Dane. Dansk Dansk Revolution versus Das Hacks coming up next. Oh, yeah. Gonna be... I'm gonna refill my water while they're uh, making their entrance. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's not much to say there after after Gorilla <laughs> after Gorilla delivers all that. What can you say except yep? Big Kev's very attractive. <laughs> but here's Das Hats. Absolutely, and the uh, country wizard summoning his weird ass cowboy partner. And folks, you're looking at greatness here easily, in my opinion. The greatest tag team of JFW history. Das Hats, three time tag team champions now. Yeah, pretty incredible. But again, a really, a really bad loss to take on the card on Monday night against Help Meme and Humorous Chimp. Gotta believe, uh, gotta believe that's a one-off deal, though. I think these two are gonna come right back into it and uh, continue their dominant streak all the way through to WrestleMania. Yeah, you wouldn't bet against it, would you? They're, uh, they're quite the partnership. No, certainly not. <laughs> oh, Mordam. Well, yeah, harsh words from Mordam of uh, cock and ball torture there. Again, the JFW does not do automatic uh, automatic title uh, um, rematches, but CBT, still one of the top teams in the division, haven't seen them since their loss on Sunday. Cannot imagine that they're done brooding over the, those titles, though, and got to believe they'll be back in the mix in some capacity. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna rest on their asses. They're gonna come for your balls. Yeah, absolutely. And here they are, Dansk Dansk Revolution fan favorites, but they've never really gotten things going. PTK even uh, moonlighting a little bit with uh, Purple Chest a few weeks ago, quite successfully too. But here's Dansk Dansk Revolution and Z Talk the main. <laughs> And PTK. Glorious. <laughs> oh god, I love a bit of PTK. Yeah, how can you not? Best parts yet to come, though. <laughs> Hello, Flicky Flack. Oh. Flicky hey. Flack, any 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 comments from you on uh, the status of the world heavyweight title? You know, getting uh, somewhat screwed out of a very close uh, two and a half to three count, depending who you ask, to uh, deny you the chance. And now Night Demon getting his title shot in the main event. Wait a minute. Wait. That's El that's that's Elp and, and Chimps music. What are they doing here? What the fuck are these two freaks doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck do we have to endure this bullshit again? Here's Elp Meme and uh, 
And numerous champ, they're just walking up to ringside, I guess. Maybe they just want to watch. Maybe playing mind games with the champs who they do have a win over. The first team to do it uh, in quite a while. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is this Fury Fest? Fury uh, Fest? Well, Fury I, Fest. I, can tell you, I can tell you one thing. It's not something I would have fucking signed off on. <laughs> Oh dear, it feels like we're one step away from Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, Antsy, maybe. <laughs> well, Elp and Chimp are in the ring now, but they are not booked in this match. Although we have seen via Antsy, uh, sometimes the uh, the inmates can run the asylum <laughs> if they walk with enough confidence. Is that what Elp and Chimp are thinking here? I think it is. I think it's just gonna. I think it's just yeah, gonna. Yeah, this sure looks everybody. like a. This is a triple threat, a tornado tag triple threat match, going off here. Elp and Chimp, I mean, calling they're... their shot, making this a triple threat match. Yeah, there's only one way to get rid of uh, Elp and Chimp from the ring, isn't it? <laughs> it's to kick the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, Licky. Fair enough. <laughs> honorable man, that. But it's an honorable man without a title. Oh, and look at this. Elp over the top rope going after the Country Wizard. And uh, Don Stunt's Revolution really taking it to these two in the ring here. Yeah, absolutely. Incredible athletic moves from Z-Tuck before. Now k Folk just throwing Chimp down the ground. Again. Well, somebody's getting booed in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the boos are horrible. Aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty rough. They are pretty rough. It's, pro it's probably Elp and Chimp. And who can blame the fans? <laughs> <laughs> Seems likely. Well, in the ring here, Lean Gary firing up, taking out Z Talk the name. Big elbow drop. <laughs> Oh, what a clothesline from Big Kev. Look at this actual PTK. Oh, <laughs> Z-Tuck. PTK and Z-Tuck posing as they take out Lean Gary. But here comes Chimp going after both members of Don Stunt's Revolution and uh, getting more than he bargained for, I think. Yep, side suplex there. Nicely done by Z-Tuck the Dane. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's the same piped in noise on so Imagine if it just used like 2K20 sound effects on their proper show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be incredible. And uh, Elbeam and uh, Oriolensis have just been going after each other outside the ring for the entirety of this match. Oh my god, the triple powerbomb. Glorious move from Zeta. Yeah. And then yeah, Chimp takes over. A lot of compact power there. Oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> I think Z-Tuck might have caught PTK there. Oh, no. But here, look at this. This is his finisher. And he's in for the pin. No one to break it up. He's got in. No. Oh, two count kick out. I thought, I thought for sure a, a Don Stunt's Revolution was going to steal that one. And yeah. they have been dominant in this match thus far. Look at Z-Tuck go. <laughs> Finally, Elp maybe stealing his momentum. Nope, not at all. Mm. Well, after, uh, oh, oh, the X Factor. Oh, God, Elp does an X Factor? <laughs> of course he fucking does. <laughs> of course he fucking does. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being forced. Here, you've got limited time left with me, and this is what you stick me with. <laughs> Says the, says the guy who booked the match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this superplex coming by Lean Gary over his tag team partner. Oh, nice styling elbow drop there. And uh, Z-Tuck might go for a pin here. Nope. Uh, Lean Gary just going out to work out some kinks in his back. <laughs> Z-Tuck has been on fire in this match. He has, yeah. Maybe he doesn't want PTK to leave him for PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, no. Oh, look out, Z-Talk. 
Oh, Help with those big flippers. <laughs> oh, Big Kev might have Oriolensis here. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe. Lane Gary nope. breaks it up instantly. <laughs> Ab yeah, absolutely. He knew. Z Talk is very <laughs> pleased with his own performance. <laughs> And here it is, Downstance Revolution, still the only full tag team on their feet right now. Well, not anymore. Oh, it looks like uh, Oriolensis might have cast a spell there. <laughs> See if it has any sort of effect. Hard to tell. Well, maybe it was a strength spell there. Oh, it's he was the able to pick up. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen this in matches before, folks. Cross face over by Humorous Chimp on Lean Gary, but he breaks out of it. Doesn't go for the pin. No. Oh, oh but he does go for the 150,000 si Cyan Dream, but no effect. Oh, man. <laughs> and that is a regular man. pin. Right, right broken up by Purple Chest. PC. Tay. K. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. No. Big Kev. <laughs> Big Kev. <laughs> oh, look go. at this. The PTK bomb. <laughs> the hoosh. <laughs> Chip, chipped in instantly to steal the pin there. Don't know why he thought that would work. but <laughs> Smart maneuvering by Chip, if you ask me. And now he's going top rope. He can fly, folks. Whoa, oh, he nails it! Swanton! Lean Gary right and, uh, now. Yeah, Lean Gary is looking to do that Scorpion Death Drop to someone, and he's going to do it to Chimp. Ooh. That might have knocked Chimp out. Let's see, can he get the pin here? No, Elp. Uh, Elp I think Elp, oh, Elp staggered, though. No, Elp, <laughs> Elp was staggered, still able to break it up. Oh, Folks, we got like all the colors of the rainbow in the ring right now, except for like green. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. Isn't it? oh. Helps out Lean Gary. Just gonna celebrate for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I think a uh, I think a uh, submission maneuver is gonna be the thing to uh, try and hit to end this match. Oh, big boot by Zetok. And now Oriolensis has to roll out of the ring. It's down uh, to <laughs> Don Stunt's Revolution. Are in them both staggered in the ring here. And here comes another Scorpion Death Drop. Oh my God. And let's see if Chimp can stop this pin. I don't see how he doesn't. Oh, he missed. <laughs> no, he got him the second time. Oh, oh flying clothesline by Lean Gary. But not paying attention over to Elp Mean there. <laughs> Big knee attack. <laughs> oh, and, and look at that. PTK. Revolution. Yeah, PTK oh, flattening out, but then getting instantly tied up. <laughs> oh, the double jerk off by Lean Gary. <laughs> but he's got to pay attention to the other side right behind him there. Zetok. Look at this. And in for this uh, standing, uh, yep, standing moonsault for the pin. There's no one there to break it up. <laughs> he's doing it. And that's going to do it. Dots Dots Revolution gets the pin on Elk Meme, <laughs> and they've got the win, and that's 0-2 since becoming champs for uh, for da for Dos Hats. Elk Meme and Humorous Chip having a major effect on this match, but what a night for PTK and Zeta. Dots Dots Revolution get the win. Outrageous. What a performance from Zeta. Reminding everyone why why he's part of Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, Incredible. certainly was. Yeah, it was a good match. But uh, Elp Meme and Chimp, if they're just here to cause chaos and make Dos Hats look bad, they did their job, <laughs> but they didn't get the win. <laughs> oh, Cocky dropping it. Can't win without a ladder. And now, folks, non-title action, Mr. E versus Unseen Walker. Mr. E, a dominant, undefeated force in the JFW since arriving and taking the Wemdope title from Night Demon. 
now going to face off Unseen Walker. Non-title. I think uh, the powers that be want to kind of restrict those title shots a little bit. Let's see if Unseen Walker gets a win here. It would be hard-pressed to say he shouldn't immediately get another shot at it for the title. Yep. Nobody I don't knows. know how you could. Yeah, how could you know? He's a masked luchador style wrestler. We've never seen his kind before. I mean, it's a, uh, it is be it is a mystery what lies under that bag. Tony plays poorly. Yep. I mean, he's just one of the most unique wrestlers in JFW history. <laughs> I guess what we do know for great certainty is that he's not Unseen Walker. Yeah. But we don't know that yet. Until he comes out of the ramp, we don't know that for sure. That's true, yeah. We can whittle it down by his opponents in the Royal Rumble. And the people, he's, he's not Night Demon because <laughs> he beat him for the win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So he he's, can... not, uh, he's not Blue Bomber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's just no possible way of knowing at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> what we do know is he likes uh, he likes to go top rope he's a bit of a high flyer he loves that curve stomp and he has one of the most unique celebrations where he flails around wildly kicking his legs out uh, to hype himself up and all of those things add up to a championship and undefeated run by Mr. E and uh, yeah who knows just uh it's in the name, folks. It's mystery. It is a mystery. And there he is rising right out of the ramp. It's Unseen Walker, the executioner. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Marcel, no, we haven't. It could be Marcel. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is that is true. We haven't seen him and Marcel in the same place at the same time. And very good point by Otroyal. It's, it's not him because he's actually won matches. Chris <laughs> <laughs> was a Minotaur, and he's definitely not a Minotaur. Although he's got a, although he's got a paper bag in his head, he's definitely not a Minotaur. Yeah, his horns would poke through, obviously. Yeah. That's the only reason. That's the only reason he can't be a crusher. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> hell. It's funny and unsuccessful. Oh, no, Joe. After the wrestling, if you want, we've got three more matches to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that PC. He, he frequently looks out of breath. <laughs> Angry eyes are on, and he is taking it right to Unseen Walker here. Yeah. Also, Mystery looks like he's eaten just Joe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Does look to like a snack or two, that's for damn sure. Yep. be <laughs> on I mean, he does. Oh, and there it is—that psych out move. <laughs> okay, I don't think Joe. Joe I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think Joe could contain his smile with a paper bag. <laughs> feet up too big for Santa feet. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. As he ties up Unseen, but Unseen elbowing his way out. Now Unseen stepping out of the ring. Oh, he's frustrated. Unseen very frustrated. He's got to get his head in the match here. Oh, oh or that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, Joe. That's true, Joe. <laughs> oh, he missed. Oh, sidesteps that, 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 that kick. But oh, not just... the punches there. <laughs> no. Oh, these and uh, Mr. E really taking it to Unseen Walker here. Hey! He could be rushing back here. Oh, wow, what a maneuver. Indeed. My dogs just 
almost completely tackled my girlfriend when she got home. <laughs> oh, dear. She's, she's not happy. She just went back outside and slammed the door. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. And look at this sleeper move on uh, the executioner. But it looks like uh, he's going to hang on here. Well, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> Certainly okay. giving us the upskirt we all deserve. <laughs> yeah, prolonged upskirt <laughs> to keep us entertained. <laughs> And here comes Unseen Walker, fights his way out of the uh, out of the headlock, and now taking control. Very hopeful pin here. Not even a one count. Hey guys, later. Oh, look at this though! Wiggling those hips, shake, rattle, and roll. Oh, what a maneuver! We've seen this in matches before, <laughs> folks. We sure have. <laughs> One sec. Okay, okay, right. <laughs> All right, Mr. E here. Not doing anything. <laughs> he was waiting, but no, oh not at all. Unseen. Trying to choke him out. Maybe trying to rip this bag off. <laughs> and now the counter on that uh oh there it is that low kick oh i thought he was setting up oh beautiful wheel kick there and uh unseen walker rolling outside of the ring here onto the apron to try and recover but he's gonna get punched right off of it and there it is <laughs> celebrating once again <laughs> oh look at this oh, he's gonna shit. fly top rope e Oh, he nails oh, him! Oh, my God! Fix the landing! Incredible! And celebrates again! <laughs> He's getting himself hyped up, folks! Amazing. Uh, we can't have an extra one, yeah. So, um... yep. yep. A Meteora, good call on the move there, Ansi. Usually we see them just Meteora directly into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Oof, oh look at this. Oh, it doesn't hold on. Oh, God, there's the upskirt. <laughs> Holds, doesn't hold on for the pin, but now thinking about the curb stomp. Oh, unseen walker. Oh, yeah, this is it. Yep, here it is. Curb stomp. That's oh. got to be it. Oh, he busted him open to boot. And, uh, oh, don't cut the camera back. Don't cut the camera back. <laughs> oh, he kicked out. Unseen walker kicked out. Mr. E thought he had him at three, and he's going to lock in a headlock here trying to squeeze the life out of uh, Unseen Walker. Yeah, unbelievable. He kicked out, but I mean, Unseen is a former champ, so. That is true, yeah. Takes. Absolutely. Battling out of this. Although his uh, title defense was still one of the worst matches in JFW history. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the hell the but now, oh, is he thinking about going for the piling on? He, uh, nope, he's just going to walk into the corner. <laughs> How dare you make me bleed my own blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, he gets the counter. <laughs> yeah, Kogi vs. Squirrel, dude. <laughs> One of the worst performances oh, what a, of all time. What a comeback here, though. Using his injured head to elbow, <laughs> or to, to headbutt the, the forearm of, J of uh, Mr. E here. Unseen <laughs> walk real, really on a comeback uh, after taking that curb stomp. Yeah. Went for a uh, went for an arc layo there. Float over DDT <laughs> though. Pounds him right in the bag head. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, bag head. <laughs> Unseen must have a finisher ready, and that's why he's just staring at him. He's just just lining him up. He's just we see this before. He wants to target him. Oh, but no, too quick, too quick for the lightning reflexes of Unseen Walker. <laughs> Look at this buckle bomb! 
power bomb into the corner there. And now here comes a pin attempt. This could do it. It could. Oh. And no! Kicks out again! <laughs> Unseen Walker hanging on. Oh, he's going up the top rope. Top rope E. Yep, top. Top rope E. <laughs> no! <laughs> Flying headbutt. Nails him. And that's going to do it. I got to believe. Got to be. Yeah, yeah, and Mr. E wins in a non-title match. I don't think Unseen Walker is going to be getting that uh, Wemdo Championship match that he probably came into this match hoping for. No, I don't think so. The streak continues for Mr. E. Undefeated Mr. E. Probably uh, one of the most dominant forces he was also the last man eliminated in the Royal Rumble. Almost won it. Yeah. If not for uh, Rick Reckless's uh, amazing, shocking return yeah, to the JFW. <laughs> All right. Well, Plim Plum Pluser weight action is up next. Triple threat match here. And there is a stipulation. Uh, we're seeing some new... Some new blood in the Plim Plum Pluserweight division. Geeks Wargaming and Wolfbark each getting a shot to uh, get a shot at the title. If either of them can win this triple threat match against uh, those two and Papa Piccolo, the winner of that will get a uh, Plim Plum Pluserweight championship match on Friday. Stand firm next week. We will see if either of them can do it. Yeah, great opportunity for these guys, isn't it? Papa Piccolo's got to go all out to win it because uh, if he doesn't, he's gonna he's gonna be putting his title on the line, and nobody wants to have to defend it, do they? If they don't have to. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, putting away newcomer like new blood is always a good thing. You put them to the back of the line, fend off any up and comers trying to vie for that title. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you heard the howling. Here comes Wolf Bark, folks. <laughs> Glorious. This <laughs> 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 it's Wolfpack, isn't it? Because he's a, he's a dog, so he's Wolfpack. Yeah. This is very creative. Yeah. Nice. Alright, here's my pick to win it all. Geeks Wargaming, one of the uh, breakout stars of Skirmetsu's high intensity tournament. Finding a way to defeat not only Extra Arms Bot, but Demon Prince Rick Reckless in the ring. Well, sort of in the ring. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> and uh, haven't really seen much of him since that showing. Sided with, uh, with shit in the uh, Great Wars for Survivor Series. Did not come out on top. Geeks War, well, he did get his win, actually. Geeks Wargaming is back. And uh, let's see the man from Deadline. <laughs> yep. Yeah, incredible, incredible thought performance. <laughs> and he ended on top of the world against, <laughs> against Rick and EAB. Oh, man. Dominant, dominant stuff. <laughs> Is that the word we're looking for? No. <laughs> <laughs> but he finished on top of the world. See what I did. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, this is the one, Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here he is, your Plim Plum Pluserweight Champion, Papa Piccolo. He was an unlikely champion when he won the title, and now he has been basically dominant. He's fended off every challenge for that belt. 
and uh, done it with uh, pretty uh, pretty impressive wins, all things considered. Papa Piccolo <laughs> here tonight to try and snub out two newcomers for the Plim Plom Pluserway title. <laughs> I love this entrance music. The million dollar bird. Here we go, folks. Triple triple threat action. If anyone wins this other than Papa Piccolo, that person will get a shot at Papa Piccolo's title on Friday. Stand firm next week. Oh, look at this. Geeks Wargaming blindsiding Wolfbark there like an egg from a hand. And now, <laughs> and now going for the quick pin here on Papa Piccolo and uh, did not get the count out there. Oof. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, here goes Papa Piccolo working on Wolfbark. Geeks Wargaming a little bit ahead of himself right now, telling everyone he's the king of the world. Oh, <laughs> pace on this one. Uh, very, uh, very slow by uh, Flim Plum Pluserweight standards. I mean, I think Geeks and Wolfbark are just happy to be there at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, Geeks in, uh, in between a rock and a hard place there. Finds his way out. And now Geeks dominant. Oh. <laughs> the oh, no, the crab walk. Trying to add to his arsenal the antsy crab walk. Maybe throwing some shade at antsy and pant walk. Probably antsy. Antsy does like the crab walk a bit. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, this match is uh, for for a plum plum blues away match not involving Anty. There's a hell of a lot of brain worms going on right now. Look at this though, nice slam into that arm bar, but he's not gonna catch Wolf Bark off with just that, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Keep buying a ripoff fucker. It's uh, it's Geeks Wargaming. Um, who, if you watch the the vods of shit, uh, <laughs> he, he, one of the he, greatest performances. <laughs> yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely one of the greatest. Uh, well, the greatest shit moment probably of the whole thing, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Does does shit have its own playlist on your YouTube? No, I don't. I might, yeah, I might do actually. No, I think they're all in so a much row. You I think they're all in a Someone row. Someone should go not. find that and link it. <laughs> yeah, I think they're all in the row, but not their own playlist. I think it's just the pay per views that do. I, they might be, though. I believe it's the second round of shit. Ah, glorious. And here comes, uh, here comes Wolfbark. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Nice maneuver by Wolfbark on the champ, and then going after Geeks, but Geeks sidesteps him. It might send him out of the ring here. Nope, keeps him in the ring. Punches away, though. Oh, and uh, Papa Piccolo missing the dropkick as Geeks chewing on Wolfbark's fingers. Kind of gross. <laughs> Geeks, though, still dominant in the ring here. I don't know. They're all just in, like, order of that. Uh, they're all just in chronological order. Yeah. So it'd probably be like episode. I don't know. <laughs> episode three, I think. At three or four. <laughs> yeah, the time travel one was amazing. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> that's Tony, pretty a pretty accurate, Tony. Yeah, glow is better than double double A. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh dear, Papa Piccolo, showcasing some agility there to no effect whatsoever. 
Yep. Oh, <laughs> Geek sent flying as Papa Piccolo and Wolfbark fighting on the outside. Triple threat match. No count outs in this one. Oof. Smashed off those 2,000 pound steps. I know. It's, it's, it's a fucking bummer. I still remain, I still remain hopeful. Yeah, it is a bummer, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Geeks mm -hmm. on the outside. You're not going to get a tap out there, Geeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I think so, Antsy. I think, I think it was popular enough to get closed out. They just... Netflix is so weird about their shows. They're mm -hmm. so hyper-committed to some, and then they abandon them instantly. Like, for... Like, just, like... Confusingly quickly sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, Jelly, that is Wolfbark. Yeah, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Geek's still really trying to work those submissions on the outside where there are no tap outs. So, not sure what he's hoping for there. Here comes the champ. Since Geek's in the ring, maybe looking to close this out with Wolfbark isolated outside. Nope, nope. he's going right back after Wolfbark. <laughs> <laughs> Prick character. Do you mean Papa Piccolo? <laughs> it's Papa Piccolo, yep. Papa Prickolo. That works. <laughs> oh, look at Geeks, though. Here we go. That's his finisher, folks. And the pin, but Woodpark right there. It's uh, Elimination. Oh, is this Elimination? I forgot yeah. if, if we had said it's Elimination. Yeah, it is. Oh, and there's Woodpark's finisher, I believe. <laughs> and that could do it for Geeks here. Oh, Flicky, don't get me started. Mindhunter is so goddamn good. And it needs another season desperately. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So fucking good. Tim Jim is now looking to show up. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm Googling it. Right now. It's really good. It's really good, but it's unsatisfying because they canceled it. Well, it's on hiatus. They might not have canceled it, but... It's unsatisfying knowing that you're probably not going to get more once you get into the show. 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's it's very good. Very, very good. Mm. It's slow. Like, it takes a little bit of adapting to, but it's it's excellent. Mm. See? <laughs> yeah, Tony. <laughs> Thanks, Vulture. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Crystal was good too. I kind of didn't expect them to do more with that. That's such a, a long term high like high production thing oh, that I could see geeks. Netflix failing on that really quickly. And Geeks, it's the pin you. on Wolfbark, and that's going to do it for Wolfbark. It's down to Geeks Wargaming versus Papa Piccolo. If Papa Piccolo can pin Geeks, he does not have to defend his title next Friday. And boy, would he love that, uh, that break. Oh, nice roll through kick to the head there. And now he's got him in the corner. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> oh, the old lawn dart into the turnbuckle. Oh, shades of Antsy. He's just, he is calling out Antsy with these moves. The crab walk and now the lawn dart into the corner. He's good. And send, sending a message, I think, to Antsy. Wow. Papa Piccolo, still dominant, not having to defend this title next week. Unbelievable. What a performance. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, Flicky, 100%. Night Demon versus JBG. And yeah, absolutely, folks. It's now time for your main event world heavyweight title on the line. Johnny B. Good. He's been fighting off uh, all the people vying for that title for the last couple months. And Night Demon here traipsing in. Uh, you got to believe Mr. Jim McMahon making some of the calls on that one. 
Night Demon getting his shot tonight against Johnny B. Good for the World Heavyweight title. Yeah, he's been beating everybody off backstage. <laughs> he sure has. <laughs> backstage, in the ring, yeah, no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, he's going to take him on. Here we go. We saw earlier tonight six feet down on to getting the win in a handicap match, but that was a hard fought handicap match. Here is their, their leader, Night Demon, getting his title shot. <laughs> this is Night Demon, not Crusher. Yep. Oh, wait a second. Whoa. Flicky, that's Flicky Flack. Flicky Flack with a chair ambushing Night Demon while he waited. Oh god, the lights are off. Oh, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh, something's gone wrong. <laughs> oh no, I think the game broke. <laughs> and here's Flicky Flack finally going after Night Demon. Flicky Flack. Unbelievable. Not happy with the results earlier tonight in the chat. Kind of, uh, kind of kind of sidestepping the question very clearly not done with jbg ambushing night demon right now and taking it right to him in the ring here spoiling our main event but we've uh, we've seen that spoil main events before folks <laughs> yeah yeah i guess it was because of the props right is why that yeah i think it was i think it was probably because of night demon's prop yeah <laughs> But here comes Night Demon right back on Flicky Flack. Flicky Flack is going to have to answer to the big boss for this one, I think. Remember, Flicky got his shot because he did a solid a few weeks ago for Mr. Jims McMahon, but obviously Mr. Jims McMahon <laughs> went in another direction, and Night Demon takes... <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Night Demon taking it to Flicky Flack in the ring, but it looks like Flicky did enough damage and took up just enough TV time to spoil this title shot. As Night Demon did not easily dispatch Flicky Flack enough that he could wrestle another match, folks. Oh, God. Brilliant. <laughs> well, folks, that is going to do it for Friday. Stand firm. As always, my name is Gorilla Mint, so like, share, and subscribe, and suck my dick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Gorilla. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.